This is Blue Dog Method Radio Show. Hi everyone, Gareth Whitehead here and welcome to another Bullet Dodge Records radio show. As usual, we've got loads in store for you this evening. We've got an interview this week with Stuttgart's very own Michael Gottschalk. Michael runs and owns uh, the infamous Stuttgart House and Techno Club Climax Institute, so he's going to be coming and having a chat with us. We've also got a superb mix by Liverpool's very own Ryan Taubman. And we've got some new tracks for you to check out. Kicking off tonight's show, we've got a track uh, by Christoph called Big H. And this is a natural Marco remix. And this goes out on Nordic Tracks.
and that was Christoph with a track called Big H and that was a natural Marco remix and that's going out on Nordic Tracks this is a brilliant dog record radio show Next we have a track called Triangle of Love by Mia Wallace. Those of you who are familiar with the label will know that Mia is one of uh, Bully Dodge's very own. So check this track out, folks. This is going out on Apulia Records. She came over with her roommate. Hey, Triangle of Love. Thinking how they looked naked, triangular love. It was subtle, but I see that they want to touch, try anything once. Trifecta in effect, and we feel the fuck. Triangle of love. Triangle of love. Love. Triangle of love. 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 Love.
It was called Triangle of Love and that was by Mia Wallace and that's going out on Apulia Records. This is Apulia Dog Records Radio Show. Next we have another track from the fantastic Love Not Money Records that as you all know I like to play on several occasions. This time the track's called Truthful and the artist's A-lister.
track there was called Truthful, the artist was A Lister and it's going out on Love Not Money. Oh. This is a Bullet Dog Records radio show. This week saw the release of Bullet Dodge's compilation volume 8, which was a various artist compilation. For the next few tracks I'm going to play some of the songs off that release. First up, we have Michael Patterson and Warner Powers, The Glass Box. This is Grout on Bullet Dodge Records. Thank you. 
that was Michael Patterson and Warner Powers, The Glass Box. And that's out now on Bullet Dodge Records as part of Various Artists Compilation Volume 8. Do the dog make a really shoot? Following on the compilation volume 8 theme, this next track is called Your Mind and it's by Prision D2B and Moog Conspiracy. Oh, 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 
B and Mood Conspiracy with their track Your Mind and that's out on Bullet Dodge Records. This is a Bullet Dodge Records radio show. Last track I'm going to showcase from uh, Bullet Dodge Compilation Volume 8 is a track called Accelerating Consciousness and this is by Debug.
track there was called Accelerating Consciousness and that's by Debug and that's out on Bullet Dodge Records. It's part of Compilation Volume 8 which was released this week. This is a Bullet Dodge Records radio show. Next we have a track called Wiggle by Orlando Vern and this was this originally went out on EPM Records and it's just been re-released again on EPM Records as a part of their various compilation. Check it out.
And that was a track called Wiggle by Orlando Vern, and that was out on EPM. This is a Bullet Dog Record Radio Show. Okay, this week, folks, I'm joined by Michael Goshak from Climax Institutes, which is a club in Stuttgart, Germany. Hi, Michael. How are you doing? Hi, Garrett. Fine to hear you. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you. I hope you too. <laughs> Good stuff. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your Climax Institutes club? I started over 20 years ago with organizing parties and uh, working at the door as a bouncer. And uh, later I tried doing a club. <laughs> Um, was that was that Climax Institutes? Was that what you started back then, or were you there, just working in other clubs? There have been um, illegal. I I did one illegal club before. It was called Forty Three O Seven. This was the house number uh, in a in an old building, but it was absolutely illegal. And after that, I tried a second club, which was not really successful. Uh, <laughs> in fact, this was horrible. Um, and the third try was Climax Institutes. Uh, we started in October 1996. And another place, as you have been the last times, it's... Um, maybe 500 meters away from the actual point. So it's it's actually, you, you've had it in more than one location then, yeah? Yeah, we moved now in the second location. Um, this location uh, was earlier known maybe from some guys as the Red Dog, uh, the T. Schwartz brothers uh, had had their club in this location too in earlier days. A time uh, at the beginning there was the climax at another place and parallel the Red Dog in the location where we are now at. And is it just yourself that's involved in the club or is there other, other, other people? Do you own the club? And then obviously I take it there's people, there's Klaus I presume and there's people who work for you, yeah? I got a partner, um, he is uh, well known with other clubs, uh, meanwhile they are closed uh, and uh, I'm doing it together with Peter Reinhardt, this is my partner and uh, I got a manager in the club, you know him, it's Christian and uh, Chrissy calls and he's the manager in the club uh, because there are several things I think I don't have so... I don't have the know-how in some parts of the business. And you need and the assistance. Th therefore, yes, therefore uh, I need the help from some other. You book the acts. Do you have promoters involved in the club or do you take care of all bookings or do you have... Or do you have separate promoters for each night? How does that work? Um, there are two separate things. Uh, because I started as a promoter and doing parties at other clubs, uh, it was for me, from the starting, very, very... No, it was a very big point for me to work together with different promoters. Mm -hmm. Our promoters um, are usually also DJs. Uh, one is like Martin Ira uh, and several others too. So these DJs promote promoting their parties themselves and took their own guests. And on the other side, I have also my own parties uh, and there I I book and contact by guests myself. And what's your parties called? Uh, they are called Primus. The, you've been 
a guest two times meanwhile. Yeah. <laughs> and there's also a groove sensation. Uh-huh. And that's the two different uh, parties we are doing ourselves. And that's the parties where I DJ myself too. And, and how would you define um, the, the Climax Institute sound? Would you say you're more a house-orientated club or a techno club or, or, or you're across the board? I think uh, it's electronic music. Yeah. At the beginning, it was a little bit... Uh, mm, we also have had uh, dubstep, uh, jungle and these things in the beginning also fetish parties but uh, after the years we found out that it's uh, much better to have a clear line and it's also beginning from jazzy downbeat sounds and ends with almost techno and there's a big band wide but I think it's electronic by the way <laughs> but not so the band wise is not so big at the, as in the beginning but it's still a big band wise I think well I think that just the house and techno um, kind of spectrum in itself is pretty wide these days I think you know whether you're going from the deeper deeper side of house to the, even to the deeper side of techno there's such a there's, there's a vast um, range and styling style of music certainly as well and what would you aside from climax what's the what's the Stuttgart clubbing scene like in general what? usually uh, the people think if they hear Stuttgart on the other one side they think about hip hip hop on the other side I think uh, they think about techno uh, the house or deep house scene is not not the biggest thing even figures like uh, T-Shirts who begin with deep house <laughs> uh, play minimal uh, no, no not minimal uh, play meanwhile totally uh, totally other electronic sound than before uh, in the beginning there sh- was just deep house but meanwhile not and in Stuttgart I think what is deep house I think uh, there are not many clubs where you can play deep house in climax you could play deep and it's possible that's why Ralf Gamm uh, like the climax so much and uh, if he's in Europe she will she will uh, <laughs> come for sure back to us but uh, he moved to South Africa because the crowd is uh, much more house orientated uh, than in, in, in Germany all over in Germany it's a problem for many house DJs to get the respect uh, they they should have <laughs> to get them in Germany I think <laughs> that's why Ralf moved to South Africa but if he come to Germany he will come back sure and he is uh, very happy with us I think <laughs> And uh, what does the future hold for Climax Institutes? What's your plans for the, for the forthcoming months and year? Just going on. <laughs> it's just working like the way before. And uh, hope with the same success. We celebrate our 17th anniversary uh, in this October. Um, this is, a, I think, a real long time. I've seen many clubs uh, coming and going. And uh, I hope uh, we will stay longer. <laughs> and... Uh, in future too. <laughs> well, I think you will. It's certainly got a good, good reputation. And, and who, who would you like to have play at your club that hasn't already? Is there anyone that you would like to, to have spin at your club? 
there are several DJs. Uh, I, I, I'm happy if they come the first time or again. But really, one one name maybe, which I really <laughs> would be very happy if it will be possible to do it one time again. Maybe it was, would be Sven Fate. I have had Sven Fate. Uh, 1992 in another club where I have done a party as a promoter and I like Sven very much and uh, I hope maybe it's sometime possible to do it in a, even a small club like the Climax. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be. I think it would be worthwhile. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, just lastly, can you tell our listeners um, where they can find out a little bit more about um, Climax Institutes? Do you have a website and social media? Yeah, uh, they are on the one side, uh, the Facebook side. Uh, you will find if you search for Climax Institutes. Uh, and uh, we have a homepage, of course, uh, uh, www.climax-institutes.de. E, uh, the I, uh, <laughs> shit. D, I think it is. D, E. <laughs> D, sorry, D. Yeah, my spelling is not so good. <laughs> no, that's, um, that's great. Well, thanks very much, Michael, for coming and having a chat with us. Very much appreciated. Thank you, too, to have the possibility uh, to talk to you and your audience. Thank you very much. <laughs> This is Blue Dog Method Radio Show. I'm now going to leave you in the very capable hands of Ryan Tobman. Check out his one hour mix.
That was Ryan Taubman in the mix here. That's us coming to the end of this week's show, folks. We'll be back next week for another show. If you want any more information on the label or on our show, so the track listings and, and links to the artists that we'll chat about, go to our website, which is www.bulletdodgerecords.com. See the radio section, and if you click on that link, it'll provide all the information you need about the show. Speak soon, folks. Bullet Dog Records Radio Show.